Let's look at a uh, hinged expansion joint, which contains one bellows, and it's designed to permit angular rotation in only one plane. And it does this using a pair of pins through hinge plates that are attached to the expansion joint ends. The hinges and hinge pins have to be designed to restrain the pressure thrust and any extraneous forces that might occur. And hinge joints should be used in sets of two or three to function properly or commonly they're also combined with a gimbal expansion joint, which we'll talk about next. Uh, a set of hinge joints are commonly used to absorb the axial growth in a planar Z bending system, similar to the model you see here, which is lateral to the axis of the expansion. The axial direction is, a, is rigid, so there's no axial movement that's permitted. Each individual joint in the system is restricted to pure angular rotation by its hinges. But these are commonly used in multiples or combined with a gimbal expansion joint, as I said. And each pair of hinge joints separated by a section of pipe, so there are two joints separated by a section of pipe, absorbs lateral deflection in much the same manner as your universal expansion joint in a single plane application. So we'll talk more about the universal expansion joint shortly, but for a given angular rotation of the individual hinges, the amount of lateral deflection which a pair of hinges can absorb is directly proportional to the distance between the hinges, that pipes, that pipe length between your two expansion joints. So in order to utilize the joints most efficiently, you might want to make that length in between as long as possible. So notice in this dialog in the middle, only one direction of bending is being released. And if I open the model here, we see that model. And if we run the analysis and take a look at the displacements, you can see this application, if I stop it, you can see that it is moving down, but they are moving down as, as one single part. So if I look at the, the displacement at the top and bottom of the joint, the only thing that's changing is the X. The X displacement is changing, not the Y, the Y. It's moving, it, it's moving down as one whole piece. It's not actually expanding or contracting. So here we have about half an inch X displacement for both of these. So that's lateral displacement. And again, uh, you have to make sure that's, that works okay. 